Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galloway Precision. Today we're going to go over the installation of our Plus One uh, magazine extension for the P225A1 series of pistols. Uh, as you can see, we're also doing a little preview on uh, our do-all holster for it that will be hitting the side about the same time that the uh, mag extension does next week. The reason we call it a do-all is because it carries your pistol and your spare mag, so it does all of it. Alright, so as you can see, anyone that's bought one of these before is familiar with we do a Cordura backing, 1000 denier, with uh, using 3M VHB to hold it in place. This stuff's good, and that's holding it on uh, that we've switched to now holds on up to about 200 degrees. So no worries about it peeling and coming off or anything like that. It's it's on there good and proper. You'll be able to get it with either the UltiClip Slim 3.3 or the FabriClip. Real nice setup, feels good. So there's a little preview of that. Now what we're gonna be going over is the installation of this bad boy right here. All right, so you'll get three pieces. You'll get the locking plate, your extension, and your 256 uh, Allen wrench for the small set screw to get everything set back up. All right, so we'll go ahead and set this off to the side. We're gonna go over tools you're gonna need. <coughs> Well, obviously we don't need the pistol. Clear, empty, we'll set it off to the side. All right, we got our magazine. Tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need a silver or black uh, Sharpie. Something something to mark with, basically. Your 1 8 inch punch. You need a heavy cutoff wheel, Dremel, doesn't matter what brand. You'll need your Dremel tool. And we're gonna show you why. All right, so go ahead and take your mag. Well, actually, before we do that, Let's go ahead and remove our set screw from the extension using the supplied Allen. Alright. Now we're going to take our 1 8 inch punch and push in on our locking plate, push off our floor, our correction base pad, and we're going to remove the floor plate from the spring. Don't need to take anything else out. Now, you're going to orient your locking plate in your extension first to make sure that you've got it facing the right way. And what I like to do is I take and press the spring. Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. If it's going to be a pain in the butt, just make sure not to throw it in the floor like I just did. But to make sure that you get it the correct facing the correct way so that everything lines up. And you'll know because if you put it in backwards, see how it's sitting? All right, so you're going to flip that around so that when it seats, it locks in place. All right, so go ahead and pull it straight out from there. Lock it onto your spring. Compress. Go ahead and slide that bad boy on. Now what we want to do is we want it front to back even. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our Sharpie. We're going to dot right where the screw is going to sit. All right, so then we're going to remove the extension, leaving the locking plate on the spring. Just remove the spring. You don't need to take out the follower. So we're going to take our cutoff wheel. Make a nice little solid spot in the lip right there. Polymer fell out, no big deal. Goes back in this way. We're going to take our spring, making sure that when we put our mag spring back in with our floor plate attached to it, that it sits this way so that the follower will tilt correctly. And press in our locking plate. Take our extension. Go ahead and put it on. Line everything back up, and as you can see, perfect little cutout hole for that. Go ahead and put in your 256 set screw. Now these are threaded all the way through, so if you have a hard time coming from the top, you can come all the way through from the bottom up. 
And what you want to do is make sure that the screw is sticking out a couple of threads. We're not going to have it stick way up, but what that does, as you can see, with our little cutout, it locks it in place on the shoulder, can't move forward or back. And like I said, you don't need a whole lot of threading showing because the 225A1 has kind of a goofy grip setup. That's what has taken so long to develop this is trying, while it does share magazines with the old 239 9mm, um, the biggest problem was the change in the grip in the frame for the 225A1. Alright, so one more little turn. We're still in our nice little pocket there. And does not interfere with locking in place. Alright. So now we're gonna take our eight-round magazine and make it nine rounds. Alright, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. And they now have a nine round mag. Locks right in on a closed slide. So you've just turned this from an eight plus one into a nine plus one. Locks in easily. Doesn't take a whole lot of force and you're ready to go. Bang, bang, bang. All right. So there you go, we are now at 9 plus 1, 10 rounds riding on board your 225A1, and uh, that's going to be it guys, uh, real simple, real straightforward, easy install on the extension. Um, don't mind the fact it won't rack there, we've got some internal parts that we're working on, so this gun's actually missing some pieces on the inside yours isn't going to do that with the extension it's just missing some things right now so if you don't cock the hammer it won't uh won't rack back um and also has a lot to do with things we're testing on this trigger uh, with pre and post travel set screws so pay no attention to that there's internal workings happening um, but yours is obviously not going to do that and that's it, guys. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to email me at tech. That's Tango Echo Charlie Hotel at GallowayPrecision.com. Uh, be sure to follow us on social media here on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Uh, follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram, uh, Vimeo, and now GunStreamer. We uh, are on GunStreamer as well now. Uh, be sure to swing by the website or the Facebook page and sign up for the newsletter. Uh, get the weekly flash sale newsletter and about once a month all our new products uh, come out with the newsletter. And that's going to be it. So as always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.